friends i greet you all in the precious name of our lord and savior jesus christ it's wonderful to hear from god it is nice that god speaks to us we have a living god who talks to us who wants to relate with us who encourages and who builds us you know jesus was here on this earth and he was ministering very powerfully he was raising the sick raising the dead he was healing the sick he was performing miracles and we know that there were 12 disciples who were around him walking and talking and moving with him and a time come a time has come that jesus said he has to go through the cross and he must go to the father to take up the next position of being the high priest and when he was about to leave he made some big statements which are so powerful even today and that is one statement which i would like to read for you and to think about and to meditate upon you know when he was about to leave he said to his disciples so long you have not asked anything to the father in heaven in my name it is found in john 16 23 he says in that day you will no longer ask me anything he is telling his disciples my friends you are not going to ask me anything and he says very truly i tell you my father will give you whatever you ask in my name we have a loving father we have a great god our father who is in heaven is a wonderful god he loves you so dearly he loves you and me so dearly and he wants to bless you because we believe in the blood of jesus the more you believe in his only begotten son jesus the more we have access to the glory of god the endless riches of god to eternal life and the power of eternal life my friend god wants to give you all blessings including his eternal life the moment you believe in jesus this life comes into your heart when this life comes into you you start to relate with god with more joy with more peace and more confidence and that is why jesus said you can ask the father and he will give you he says my father will give you whatever you ask in my name whatever you ask the father in the name of jesus christ you will be given and that is what jesus is saying and he says until now you have not asked for anything in my name and he is encouraging his disciples ask and you will receive and your joy will be complete Jesus is telling his disciples my friends now is a time i am opening a new shift in the way of praying he says i am going to open a new way of asking god the father he is telling his disciples i am going to open a new way i am telling you a new secret here afterwards utter my name and ask the father and because do you know one thing by jesus and through jesus all were created and that creator that lord jesus died for you and me and that is why when you say jesus the name of jesus the father is melted to grant you everything my friend today you may go through a lot of debts my friend today you may go through a lot of problems not knowing what to ask whom to ask where to go and how to go and how to solve your problems i want to tell you don't go to people for solving your problems of course people are helping us but not necessarily all the time they may not help you all the time they may not be able to help you all the time but you know one thing we have a helper in heaven our father and he is opening his arms widely for you his arms are wide open for you and when you come to him believing in the name of jesus you will receive jesus said ask you will receive this is the thing that the lord says to you when you ask in jesus name you will receive as we pray in jesus name things will happen my friend 
things will happen my sister things will happen to you my brother oh when you ask in this name oh things will get granted you are going to see your property problems getting solved you are going to see new things are coming up in your life you are going to see your divisions in the family is going to settle down you are going to see what the devil has been holding in your life leaving your life in jesus name when you are going to ask the father in the name of jesus the family divisions will go when you ask the father in the name of jesus the oppression that you go through in your life in your job is going to go because the lord is going to enlarge your territory and he's going to put a supernatural favor on your life people are going to be kind to you because you are going to pray in jesus name hallelujah why don't you say amen you are going to receive your favor i am seeing the days in which you are going to ask in jesus name a favor is granted to you god is going to give you a favor by which when you go through when you go to a place things will happen to you because you pray in jesus name this name is above all names this name is above all names the name of jesus christ is above all names you know one time when jesus was about to be tempted you know when he was about when he was tempted by satan in the wilderness satan took him around the world around the kingdoms and he told to jesus when you worship me i will deliver this power to you my friends i want to tell you jesus was not objecting satan he was he was sure that adam transferred the power and the dominion to satan and that is why jesus never objected to satan but he simply said get away from me i am not going to worship you i am going to worship only the lord it is all about worshiping the father or worshiping the devil my friend when you worship the father in the name of jesus you are going to be victorious and when jesus went through the sufferings on the cross when he rose again on the third day it is found in matthew 28 all authority on earth on heaven and every place is in the name of jesus jesus says to his disciples i have been given all authority and power the power which was transferred by adam to devil has come to me and when you believe in my name when you believe in my name i will give you my grace and power to be a victorious person to bring the kingdom of god my friend i want to tell you when you use the name of jesus when you believe in the name of jesus supernatural things will happen miracles will happen you will see god's abundant anointing is flowing through you you will see demons running you will see the problems leaving you will see the people that are against you will come by your side you will see a favor surrounding you because the name of jesus is the highest name and it is above all name and all authorities are invested on that name when he paid the price for sin jesus said to his disciples i have all authority and power this day i want to tell you he said to his disciples i am going away to heaven but don't worry ask the father in my name my friend you have to pray to the father in jesus christ name it was not said by anybody it was said by the lord jesus himself it is our duty it is our responsibility to pray in that name will you make a commitment that you will pray to the father in the name of jesus christ when you pray in jesus christ the father listens to your prayer when somebody mentions my son's name i am going to listen to them when somebody talks about my son i am going to be curious about them it is very simple like that when you utter the name of jesus the heaven is going to listen when you utter the name of jesus the whole world is going to listen when you utter it in faith believing in the person of jesus i want to tell you your favor is going to be released even now as you hear oh things are getting aligned up for you i want i'm seeing things are aligned for you i am seeing things are aligned for you i am seeing your business plans are getting aligned for you i am seeing the loans are getting sanctioned for you 
I am seeing favor is getting sanctioned for you. I am seeing wherever you are getting stuck, you are getting a release today because you pray and believe in Jesus' name. Yes, oh, things are aligning for you. I am seeing alignment. I am seeing your word alignment. Wherever you had things not aligned, wherever you saw people not favoring, wherever you saw things are in a, in a puzzled manner, God is going to set them right because we pray in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? We'll agree and pray on that. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for the name of Jesus. Even now, as we pray in Jesus' name, I pray the business proposals will get approved. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, project proposals will get approved. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, oh, whatever approvals they are waiting for, let them get approved. Father, I pray in Jesus' name, let demonic oppression that is oppressing their families will leave. I declare a release in Jesus' name. I declare a release in their families in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Yes, I am seeing a supernatural anointing. I am seeing a supernatural power of God. Oh, it is filling your life right now. It is filling your families right now. You are going to overcome in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, I am seeing an abundant anointing. I am seeing a later rain anointing. I am seeing a supernatural anointing. A power that is filling your life. A power that is filling your business. A power that is filling your life. It is going to fill you even now more. Thank you, Father, for filling us. In Jesus' name, we receive the blessings, Father. Amen. My friends, I am sure the Lord's reign of power and abundance is flowing. I am seeing that power flowing in your life. And I am sure the, God, the Lord is going to bless you. Because we have prayed in the most powerful name. The name of Jesus. My friends, as I utter now, demons are really, really screaming. They are shivering. Why don't you use it? Why don't you utter it? The name of Jesus. The heaven is listening. Amen.